Hello, welcome to another edition of Positive Living, part of Positive the Series. I'm Jerome, your host, and um, I just wanted to come to you real quick with another update, I think. I wanted to let you know, I think I told you about the fracture that I, they found in, um, in my bone where the hip replacement was done, and so... It's just going to be a matter of time that will heal all wounds. And um, they gave me today my potential release date, which is two weeks from today, which will be July 11th. So here we are, us spending half, half of a summer in the hospital, which is exactly what I knew was going to happen. And, um, Maybe I thought it into fruition, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Or maybe it's just me knowing my body, but um, I'm not happy. I'm just frustrated, and I haven't really been with you guys lately because I'm not happy. I'm, like, turning into a grizzly bear, and uh, everything is just getting on my nerves, and I'm frustrated, and I'm agitated, and I'm upset, and I'm bothered. And I just... You know, don't want to bring that energy to the masses. You know, I'm I'm here to spread positivity and light and and joy, even through the darkest of times and darkest of hours. But yes, even I too, under the circumstances, experience the lows and the feeling of being overwhelmed and put upon by all of the woes and worries and trials and tribulations that I am experiencing in this present portion of the journey I'm calling convalescence after this hip replacement surgery. (sighs) It's rough, guys. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. My feet are like sausages. Look. I don't know if you can see them. But those are not my feet. They don't belong to me. I'm bloated. I am so full of fluid. I've gained 42 pounds in fluid. I'm barely eating a meal a day. Most people will tell you when they come visit, they eat my food. I don't have an appetite. This is rough, man. This is rough. This is rough. I do have a shrink finally. I have Dr. Tellison, and she's the head of the um, the uh, behavioral health division here at Mercy Hospital. And um, so I'm very pleased to have been uh, given the, the, the top of the food chain here with respect to behavioral health. And she is a wonderful person. She seems to be a lovely lady and um, a brilliant therapist. Um, And she, you know, she's just reminded me that it's okay to give myself permission to feel exactly what I'm feeling because everything that I've been through has been magnanimous. You know, she said to me, she said, you know, Jerome, most people would not have lived through or survived half of what you've been through. I don't know. I've heard that a number of times, and I've shared that with a number of people. But I don't know why, but it just seems to resonate more and more with me as time goes on. I don't know if it's because I'm beginning to sort of get more weary. I don't know if it's because I'm tired. I don't know if it's because... (sighs) There's a part of me that's ready to relent. I don't know if this... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, And I'm holding back tears. I'm fighting them back because I'm tired of coming to you and crying. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of fighting with people. You know, I had to fight with the nurses today, this morning, because I needed a treatment, a breathing treatment. And they're like, oh, you don't have another breathing treatment for four hours. Well, you tell my lungs that they got to wait for four hours. You know, to be inflated. Like, come on now, for real? 
When I'm at home, I use my inhaler when the hell I want to use my inhaler. I use my nebulizer when the hell I want to use my nebulizer. God damn. I'm just frustrated. I'm done. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I miss my cat. I miss my monkey. I miss... I miss life. I went outside yesterday. I realized my mom was like, Jerome, you can't go outside. You can't, you know, you can't go outside. It's too hot. I didn't know that. I didn't realize how humid it was. I just wanted to be in the sun. And my mom wanted to give me that opportunity. She didn't know she was doing something that was not appropriate, but uh, I just, I come to you this evening, bent, you know, I'm not broken, I'm just bent, because my dear Aunt Lynn, she told, she told me, you're not broken, baby. Look at you. You know, you may be bent, but you're never broken. And that is true. I'm fractured. <laughs> but I'm not broken. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Laughed with your tears, man. They say that is the best form of medicine, and it, 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 it does feel good. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to leave you on that high note, you know. Uh, because remember, I always told you, don't ever be sorry. Because I was feeling a little sorry there. I'm going to leave off because I am fierce. So remember that. Don't be sorry. Be fierce. And please, ladies and gentlemen, everyone within the sound of my voice, you know that I love you and I love that you love me. And I need your love now more than ever. Please. Send me those healing vibrations. Send me those loving vibrations. Because your boy, he going through it. Your boy's going through it. But I love you guys. And I'm going to stay positive. And you stay positive. So until next time, I'm Jerome with um, Positive the Series. Good night. Ah.